This is the second hymn I'm posting on Good Friday. It's a hymn by the German writer Paul Gerhardt. And uh, tonight I'll be hearing the television the statistics again of how many people have died from the coronavirus. And I'll also be wondering when I hear those numbers how many of these people have gone to heaven and how many have not gone to heaven but have gone to hell. And this is the most critical question of all. But of course, there's no statistics available for that. However, we do know that not everybody goes to heaven when they die. And the Christian church exists to confront people with this reality. We're on earth to get people's attention and tell them they can go to heaven instead of hell because of God's frontline worker, Jesus Christ's death. I've said in the previous posts, we must not just believe in the fact that Jesus died in history, but that he died for me personally. But it does matter what we believe about his death. It's definitely not a matter of sympathizing with his physical suffering. Uh, we thinking, oh, poor Jesus, I believe in you. I sympathize with you. Instead, it involves believing in the fact of my extreme guilt for having broken God's law and that I deserve God's condemnation and judgment. It involves believing that hell is where a just and holy God punishes sin and sinners eternally. It involves believing that God sent his only son to suffer this condemnation and judgment in my place to experience hell instead of me experiencing it. It involves believing his suffering was more than physical and emotional. It was extreme torment and anguish of soul under the wrath of God, something totally unimaginable to human minds. It involves that in taking my place, he offers me his place to become a son of God and the opportunity to live eternally with him in heaven. And that when I die, I know that I will immediately join him in heaven with God as my father and not as my judge. In the town where I live, there's a Bible verse painted on the side of a barn that summarizes God's appeal to people to go to heaven and not to hell when they die. Hundreds of people pass it every day. It's one of the best known verses in the Bible and it's at the heart of Good Friday. And if you believe this verse today, you will definitely go to heaven and not to hell when you die. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is what these great hymns are trying to put into words, like this hymn of Paul Gerhardt's. Cursed and forsaken on a tree and clothed with dust and sweat and blood see there the king of glory see the groaning dying son of god sacred body wound. No guilt your spotless soul has known. In your mouth no deceit was found. Lord, I alone have done Tis I, your sacred flesh, have torn. My sins have caused you, Lord, to bleed. Have earth the nails crowned you with thorns. Caught by the lion devouring teeth torn and abandoned Lord I lay 
you sprang into the jaws of death from death to save its helpless prey sin's burden I could not sustain its crushing load on you was laid to heal me you took all my pain to bless me you a curse were made Lord may your tears your groans Christ, devotion in my heart inspired, and love for you unceasing rise, as incense from a soul on fire.